Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about measure of central tendency. This is our first class in probability and statistics. We will go step by step. So, in this class, we are going to understand what measure of central tendency means. Coming to today's class. So, before going into the concept of measure of central tendency, first you have to understand what distribution means. Distribution means a distribution is simply collection of data. So we are going to collect some data and arrange from smallest to largest. We are going to arrange the data in a sequence order. That is what distribution means. Uh, with example, you will have a better understanding uh, heights of students in a class. If you collect the heights of students in a class and if you arrange them in a sequence, means uh, we collected the data in inches, we are going to uh, say it as 5.4 inches, one student is there, 5.5 inches, one student is there, 5.6 inches, two students are there, 5.7 inches, three students are there, 5.8, five, 5.9, five, five students are there, 5.10, three students. 5.11 one student is there and six height six inches height uh, one student is there this is how we distributed the data so that is what distribution means uh, we collected the data and we and uh, we plotted them from smallest to the largest uh, with this distribution data distribution uh, how our heights of students are distributed that is what the visualization you will get with this distribution if you distribute the data with this you will get a good idea about the data what's the minimum value minimum height that is present in your class what's the maximum height present in this class and what's the average height what's the most of the students height is it's around this 5.8 and 5.9 most of the students are around that point area so with the distributions we are going to pull the data pull the information required for us that is the use of the distribution okay now coming to the point what is measure of central tendency means the central tendency is a measure that represents the center point of the distribution in this distribution what's the center point this is the center point somewhere around here it is not exactly the center point somewhere around here we will get the center point so based on the distribution we have to identify the center point that is what measure of central tendency means from this point you will have that half of the students are around on the left of this point measure and half of them are on the right side of the measure and one more important point you have to understand with this central tendency this measure indicates where most data are around this value if you identify the center value most of the data is around this value if you identify that central tendency point that is what measure of central tendency means uh, this important point you if you have a visualization let's elaborate this data uh, a little bit so if you consider the heights of the students uh, in our class uh, few students are very small and few students are very tall most of the students are around this height in india it's around this height 5.7 5.8 is the average height of the student uh, average height of the indians so indirectly it is a measure of central tendency is giving you the average value okay so we, we have to identify the measure of central tendency it is the this point is very important uh, this point uh, this visualization will help you in understanding uh, mostly in data science uh, okay the measure of uh, uh, this measure indicates where most of the data are around this point that is the point you have to understand now coming to the next point different ways to find the measure of central tendency the first one is mean median mode geometric mean harmonic mean these are the different ways uh, these are the mostly used ways and some other ways are also there these are the mostly we used ways and uh, we are going to discuss about these concepts step by step so uh, for which data mean is good for which type of data median is good what are the disadvantages with this mean value what are the advantages where we have to go with mode and where we have to go with geometric mean all these points will be discussed in our coming classes step by step 
so hope you understand the concept of what's the measure of central tendency if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates